Nine, give me nine. Or oh, won't you give me nine? Give me six plus three, give me seven plus two, give me eight plus one, give me nine. Now here's your nine at nine. All right, and wow. here is number nine. Here's a simple video that's uh, sure to make you feel great today. Check out Atlas, the Samoid on Instagram. Oh, yeah. uh, isn't that uh, precious? Uh, yeah. How much is that dog wow. in the window? That is some, what did you call him, Paul? <laughs> uh, Atlas, this, is it Samoid? Samo Samoyed. Samoyed? Yeah, it's a dog. Mm -hmm. It's a breed. Samoyed is a, bre a breed, huh? Yeah. Right there, that, oh. that's him right that's there. That's adorable. <laughs> that's that's right there. Samoyed or uh, Sam Samoyed. Oh. Look how cute he is. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah. No, Magnificent man. beast. I don't have a much of appreciation for many things that are cute. <laughs> yeah. Dogs? But that was cute. Yeah. Oh. Wearing a hat. What about a... Wearing a hat or a That's rain cute. jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes a lot for me to yeah. think, yeah. oh, something's cute is nice. But that, yeah. Yeah. that, really that got hit me the mark. Right here. Oh, good. In the tender spot. Mm. Number eight. Actor Jeff Perry was on the show yesterday, which got us thinking about the 90s mm -hmm. show, <laughs> My So Called Life. And that led to us wondering what happened to Ray Ann, oh, the Ray friend Ann. of Claire Dane's character. The actress' name is A.J. Langer, and she was on Baywatch and lots of other stuff. Oh. But okay. since 2004, she's been royalty. What? what? Yes, yeah. because she married a lawyer named Charles Courtney, who is the son of the 18th Earl of Devon. Shut the front door. I will not. I'm going to kick it wide what? open, Paul. A few years back, she moved with her husband and two kids to the family seat, oh. a castle outside of London. She is now known as the Countess of Devon. Oh, yeah. Devon Devon. Yeah. Is it Devon or Devon? Devon or Devon? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's love the be. life right yeah. here. That'd be like the best thing God, ever. I'd love to be a princess. Yeah. Me too. Lottie it's not hard, I don't think. Duh. You just got to marry the right person, right? I think right? so. Yeah. More than willing to. I... I would be willing to reconsider my wife yeah. and four kids right. yeah. if the right princess. And they're wonderful and, the right... and lovely, and you love them. Oh, and it's all not that, that stuff. I don't love yeah. them. And I'm not told, but the idea, and I would, even if my wife came to me and she said, "Hey, I've got an opportunity to be a, a princess. princess. Yeah. Do you, you mind if I?" It. I'd be like, I, I get it. I get it. Because it doesn't I get the come along. Does he have a brother or a sister? Right. Yeah. Is there a way for all of us to get in on this? We can be pen pals or something, but. You, you're kind of like, huh, I yeah, should yeah. try to find a way to make it happen. All right, number seven. Here's a fun Twitter feed. It's called Brimley Cocoon Line, and it's Ooh. posts. It posts photos of celebrities once they have reached the age that matches Wilford Come Brimley's on. age. Oh, on the my. day the movie Cocoon <laughs> was released in 1985. It with this movie? <laughs> so as it explains, Brimley was 18,530 days old when that movie came out. That's okay. 50 years, nine months, six days. He was only 50 there. They say when you reach the Brimley cocoon line, it's time to celebrate. Hmm. The feed recently welcomed wow. uh, Michael Ian Black. Oh, that's what, okay. Pete Sampras. Missy Elliott. Corey Feldman, Missy Elliott. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we'll, we'll, Brimley looked like he was 70 yeah, when right. he was 50. Yeah. As Good did Ava Pagoda and, you know, yeah. Charlie Brown. Yeah. Lincoln. Right, number six, a British architect who was derided for his love of whimsy is finally getting the respect he deserves. Designs made by John Ottram are now appearing on T-shirts, coffee mugs, and his buildings are going back on the market. In the 90s, Ottram's work was described as architectural terrorism. His postmodern style buildings are bright and colorful, inspired by ancient mythologies, but built with modern technology. He's designed a building at Cambridge University in the United Kingdom and also Rice University in Texas. Now 87 years old, Ottram says he oh. refers to his reemergence as being dug up. Hmm. Huh. Huh, good, for good for him, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, number five, here's some security camera footage from the Prairie Creek Elementary School in Andover, Kansas, that shows oh. the effect of a tornado there on oh, April geez. 29th. No one was at the school and no one in the community died, but here's the video, it's, it's amazing. Man. Nature. Wow. Undefeated. Yep. Undefeated, awesomely powerful. Man. Oh. 
That car is sitting there. Yeah, I was just wondering if that was. see it moving there? It's kind of, yeah. Oh, here it goes. Did it stick around? No, oh, there it goes. Oh, oh, how about that? Like Look at that. Can you imagine? Where'd it go? How far did it go? I don't see it it's anymore. Gone. Here's a different angle, maybe. That's wow, cool. look at that. Oh. Whoa, there goes a light pole. Oh. Yeah, we uh, added the music. The music is not playing. Yeah, look at all the fact you stayed in there. Terrifying. Good compliments to the garbage guy and the bench guy. That stayed. They stayed center, right? Yeah. Wow. You don't sometimes no, you forget. That's good craftsmanship the, right yeah, there. You forget to honor the people who mm -hmm. made the stuff that stuck around. Number four, have you ever wondered why some of the designs on takeout containers are so similar and where they came from? For instance, a lot of pizza boxes mm. have that winking chef. Yeah. That one was drawn by a political cartoonist in the early 50s. He was copying a coworker's style and sold it as a joke to a clip art service. <laughs> Chinese takeout boxes frequently mm -hmm. show a red oh, sketching yeah. of a pagoda. Sure. That came about in the 70s when a graphic artist based that drawing off of a famous building from China. And the reason why plastic sushi trays are usually colored with flowers or mountains is because they're based on traditional Japanese plates. Oh. Yeah, I've never good, noticed yeah. that oh, one. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. No, I can't say sure. the sushi yeah. one. Even. All right. Number three, we showed uh, this guy uh, doing a free climb of a bridge yesterday, oh, and yeah. more than one viewer reached out to tell us that David Lee Roth is a rock climber. Here he is in a video for Just Like Paradise. But well, that Look was for a solo album in 1988. Side side During that shoot, Roth was quite scared, according to the guy who assisted him. They were rigged up on half dome in Yosemite. Oh, yeah. uh, Roth was an experienced climber, but this was very challenging and different. The director wanted these shots, so the climbing assistant had to convince Roth that the peg that goes inside the rock was stuck in there about a foot deep. The truth was, it really wasn't. <laughs> but they all survived, and they even got the shot for the album cover. Huh? There's a, there a backstory to it. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Agility. Uh, hmm. Number two, Taylor Swift fans love her so much they're willing to pay big bucks just to sit through a college graduation ceremony. Ever since NYU announced that Tay Tay would give the spring's commencement speech, Swifties began harassing soon to be grads. She will not be singing there. That's all right. Yeah, one senior told the New York Post someone Facebook messaged him with an offer of $500 for his tickets. That seems kind of low. That seems being honest. Yeah, with it's you. a first yeah. bid. You, you, say, you come back and you say two grand, yeah. you got yeah, to yeah, pay a me off. You're trying to pay me off to skip my college graduation. You've got to commit at least $2,500. Is it for yeah. family members, though? Is it your ticket? Or is it, you know, sometimes you get question. two tickets, right? Yeah. I don't know. Would parents? they let somebody that's Just not actually graduating? Tell your mom, hey, mom, sorry, I sold you a ticket. Grandma, it's mom, then 500 right. seems right, yeah. Someone else made an offer to a graduating senior to bring a megaphone to the ceremony and go nuts when the graduate's name is called if he sold his ticket. There you go, all right. If you're wondering, though, this is all against NYU's policy. Oh. They prohibit selling yeah. commencement tickets. Who are so. they to... Who are they to make that? You know, killjoys right there. Yeah, Dream they slayers, right? Yeah. All these rules, people. Do that. Mm. Mm. Well, it's time for number one. We've moved along so nicely here this morning. There's a new cremation technique that gives new meaning to the phrase, go out with the bag. <laughs> oh, this is not gonna go. This is I, don't know if we, I don't know if we should The old this loved one launcher. The loss of a loved one can be overwhelmingly sad, difficult, and emotionally draining to all involved. That being said, the end doesn't have to be a boring ride to the cemetery. Thanks to CremationSolutions.com, you can now celebrate the life of your loved one and send them out in style with a bang with the Loved One Launcher. Isn't that nice? The Loved One that Launcher like launches the remains right of your dearly yeah. departed yeah. up to yeah. 75 Stand feet through wind. the air, mixing creativity and festivity in the ultimate honoring experience ah. of a life well lived. 
Rather than carrying the ashes in a typical cremation urn, they're distributed with the help of a special scattering urn. The huh. Loved One Launcher brings technology into the mix to both make the ceremony more dramatic and provide an effective method to release the ashes. This is beautiful. Uh, I wonder what you'd pay for that. It doesn't sound like we're totally convinced that this no, is a real thing, I, but I could very well see it being a real thing. Yeah, if it's not, it should be. Hmm. Otherwise, it's just sitting on the countertop or on the fireplace right. and just collecting yeah. taking up space. Yeah. You okay, put so a, it, as long as it go enough that it makes me want to die any sooner. Right, yeah. <laughs> I'll wait. Right. Nonetheless. Hold out for something better. That sounds fun. Yeah. It's more fun than sitting on a shelf. Something you'll remember. Yeah. Just sitting around, which is a lot of those old people were doing when they were alive. Right. Anyway, yeah, it's right? not much of a difference, to be yeah. honest yeah. with you. Well, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, this was so good. A lot of people were like I wish 18. We could have another nine. Yeah, I do too. And I'm somewhat glad if it's you were over. contemplating going to college and you watched this just yeah. for last yes. time, you don't have to go anymore. Yeah. Like, this is like better than a college education mm -hmm. right here. Multi course. All in 13 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Think of the money we save people. Yeah, that's the nine and nine. Give me nine, give me nine. Now here's your nine at nine.